If you have H8, H9, or H11 halogen bulbs in your fog lights, low beam, or high beam, and you're trying to upgrade to brighter headlights, you might be confused on what's the difference because they all look the same and different companies say that they all fit. Well, I'm gonna explain the difference from a halogen level, and then I'm gonna explain how LEDs work for these three bulbs. In the aftermarket world, something like this H11 style LED bulb from SV4 can replace all three of these halogen bulbs. You can see they have the same type of rubber collar. They have the same metal tabs that lock into the housing. And even the wiring that it plugs into is the same. But the way LED bulb manufacturers accomplish this universal fitment is by removing the differences between these three bulbs and making it so it fits any application. These bulbs come in different wattages which create different levels of heat, but most importantly, brightness. The H8 is a 35 watt bulb, not very bright. It's specifically designed for fog lights. You'll only find it in a fog light application. The H11 is a 55 watt bulb, which makes more light and it's designed for low beam headlights. The H9 is a 65 watt halogen bulb, which makes even more light yet and designed for high beam headlights. The way the manufacturer prevents you from taking your super bright H9 bulb and putting it in a fog light location, even though they're practically the same bulb, are by two differences in how the bulb attaches to the vehicle. The first thing preventing you from using a high power bulb in a lower power position on the vehicle is how the bulb mounts to the housing. If you look at the back of this Tacoma headlight, that uses an H11 low beam, you'll see three openings where the bulb goes in. Those three openings line up with the three metal tabs around the perimeter of the bulb collar. So when you put the bulb lined up with the grooves, and there it goes. If we try to do the same thing with other bulbs, they're not gonna work as well. Here's the H8. The tabs are offset a little bit. I can get two of them in, but that third one doesn't go. Same with the H9. If I try to get an H9 bulb in there, I can get a different tab in, but not the other ones. That's because those tabs are either different sizes or in slightly different positions around the perimeter of the bulb collar. If we tried that exact same thing with a universal H11 style LED bulb, it's going to work just fine because those three tabs are small enough to line up with the orientation of any of the original halogen bulbs. Now at Headlight Revolution, we've tested more LED bulbs than anybody, and we have found some bulbs that are H8, H9, or H11 specific that don't cross-reference to all three. So when you're finding the bulbs, make sure you get something like the SV4 that's designed to work with any of those three applications. That way there's no guesswork at all. The second way that the bulb manufacturer restricts you from swapping bulbs around has to do with how the wiring connects here. As you can see, the connectors where the wiring plugs in look the same. They have two pins, they have tabs on the outside, but check out that little keyway that's in there. The brightest bulb, the H9, has a keyway on the top and the bottom. The low beam bulb, H11, has a single keyway on the bottom, but it's taller than the one on the H9. And then the H8 for fog lights also has a single lower keyway. So even if you did modify the tabs that allow the H9 to fit in a fog light location and you got it to mount, the wiring still won't connect because the keyway between the wire pins is shaped differently. You'll try to plug it in and it'll just stop. The way that the LED bulb that's universal for all three overcomes this is there's just no keyway at all. It's just two bare wires and any of the OEM wire connectors for H8, 9, or 11 plug into this harness just fine. Now, if you're not an automotive lighting expert, you probably don't know what this little gray painted piece on the top of the bulbs is. It's actually a limiter for the light so that light can't shine out through the tip of the light bulb. That's because the way fog lights and low beam bulbs work is they direct the light backwards into those reflective surfaces and then it bounces off to create the beam pattern in front of you. That's how fog lights work for the H8. 
That's how low beams work for the H11, but high beam is a little bit different because they don't have to control the light so specifically to avoid glare for oncoming drivers. So they let all the light come out. So some of the light projected from your high beam actually comes out of the bulb itself and still uses the reflective surface inside the headlight. So you can tell at a glance which one you're looking at because the H8 for fog light is a smaller glass capsule with a painted tip. H11 for low beam is a slightly larger glass capsule with a painted tip. And H9 for high beam is the biggest glass capsule without a painted tip. We're gonna modify the tabs on each bulb so they all fit in the headlight of this Toyota Tacoma so we can demonstrate the difference in wattage and brightness compared to any halogen bulb in an LED upgrade. Now remember, if you're trying to light up the trail with a dedicated off-road vehicle, you can do anything you want for the headlights. But if you're using the vehicle on street, you gotta know LED headlight bulbs are not DOT compliant. If you need better, brighter headlights, we recommend a full housing upgrade like the Morimoto XB or something from Alpha Rex. If you still have questions, feel free to reach out. We wanna help. We got a whole room full of automotive lighting experts who want to help you with your next nighttime driving adventure. Or go to headlightrevolution.com, put in your year, make, and model, and we'll show you what fits, and you don't have to be a lighting expert. We do the hard work for you.